the glory of the Lord is too much in our lives, in our houses, wherever we go, it will be as the result of continuing to fellowship with God everywhere we go. As the Bible says that where two or three come together in my name, there I am in their midst. Then it's the same thing if we do ourselves a favor and we make sure that we live in the presence of the living God, we fellowship with God in our houses, in our cars, in our place of work Amen. I'm telling you when we do those things the glory of the Lord is gonna fill our houses the glory of the Lord will fill our cars the glory of the Lord will fill our everything as we continue to fellowship with God in those places hallelujah Amen. because God already have said it by his word he have said it by his word that way two or three come together in my name they I am in their midst Amen. then if anybody Amen. want to continue to live in his presence to live in his power to live in his glory we need to create a space for him in our schedules in our time in our houses and God will come to be in our houses God will come to be wherever we are we are fellowshipping as reference to him hallelujah Amen. then that's it if we want to continue to move in his power we want to continue to move in his presence is something that we must do regularly we must do continually it must not be a seasonal thing that you say oh this week I want to go to fellowship with God I want to go to be in the house of the Lord let your house be house of the Lord let your car be car of the Lord. Let your working place be the place of God. As we continue to fellowship with him everywhere. Everywhere. Are you getting what I'm saying? Amen. As we continue to fellowship with him. As we allow where two or three, to, as two as three come together, and I'm telling you, the glory of the Lord will fill our houses. The glory of the Lord will fill our cars, will fill our days, will fill everywhere we go. Because that's a secret. Where God have said that, where two or three come together in my name, there I am in their midst. Hallelujah. Amen. Then we must never allow to be out of his presence. We must never allow to be out of his presence. But uh, 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, 31 days a month, and 365 days a year, we must create an environment where we live in his presence. Are you getting what I'm saying? Amen. Because I'm telling you the truth, there is no place that can ever be compared like in his presence. His presence we don't want. His presence we need. Hallelujah. That's why the Bible also said that in the book of 
Exodus chapter 33, verse number 14, the Bible says that my presence will go with you and I will give you rest. My presence, my glory will go with you and after that I will do what? I will give you rest. Then if we are looking for the everlasting rest that come from God, that rest is not found in any other place than his presence. Amen. The rest is found in his presence. Hallelujah. Amen. The rest is found in his glory because the struggle begins when somebody is out of his presence. That's where the struggle begins. That's why when we look at uh, Adam and Eve at the beginning, Adam and Eve, when God created them, he created them and he placed them in Eden, in his presence, in his glory. But it was sin that God was angry about. And he chased them out of the presence of God. And in that presence of God, Adam, everything that Adam wanted, everything that if wanted was provided that's why the bible said that for six days god was creating things on the seventh day the last thing that he created god it was a human being then he rested that means before god created adam he created everything that adam will need then after that, he created Adam. Hallelujah. Amen. To make sure that everything that Adam needs is there in Eden, is there in the presence of God, is there in the glory of the Lord. God made sure that everything that Adam needed is available. But uh, when Adam sinned, when Adam lived a sinful life, when Adam did not listen to God, when Adam listened to the devil, he was chased out, out of the presence of God. And that's where God began to say that, oh, you will begin to eat out of your sweat. You will have to struggle to eat. But in Eden, there was no room to struggle to eat. Everything that Adam needed was provided. Everything that he will ever need was provided. So it's like us. Everything that we need, God has provided. Every blessing that you need, we need, God has provided. As long as we live in his presence and his presence go with us, goes with us, his glory goes with us, God will give us rest. There will be a supernatural rest. God will take care of all your need. Hallelujah. Amen. That's why the Bible said that in the book of Exodus 23, verse number 25. The Bible says that Worship the Lord your God and his blessings will be on your foot. And water, and I will take away sicknesses from among you. That means, as the Bible says that, his pray, as we say that, when the praises goes up, his glory come down. As we worship the Lord, the blessings of the Lord will come down. And the blessings of the Lord will be in our foot. The blessing of the Lord will be in our water. And the Lord says that he will take away the sicknesses from among us. Because what causes the sickness is not God. What causes the sickness is the devil. And the devil cannot be in our midst. The devil cannot be in our houses. If God is here. Hallelujah. Amen. Because when you think about it, God is like the light. The devil is like the darkness. If you switch on the light in your house, there will be light. When you switch off the light during the night, there will be darkness. Then it's like that. 
the moment the presence of God in your house, the devil checks away. The devil runs away and the blessing of God begins to fill your house. The blessing of God begins to fill your things. And he even blesses even your food. He even blesses even your food. Everything gets blessed. Hallelujah. Everything gets blessed. The food, the water. And after that, he takes away the sicknesses from among us. That means whatever the devil will want to bring, whatever the devil will want to do, he won't be able to do because what? The Lord will be in our midst. The Lord will be in our houses. Then we need an environment in which God dwells. Hallelujah. Amen. We need an environment where God dwells. God, we need God in our houses, in our cars, everywhere we go. There must never be a place, we must never be a place where God is not. That's why God, when God took the children of Israel out of Egypt, the Bible said that God was with them in the cloud during the day to cover them. And during the night he was with them, with the pillar of fire covering them, protecting them every day. There was never a place where God was not with the children of Israel. Also us, there must never be a place. There must, we must never be a place where God is not. And I'm telling you, that is our blessing. That is our protection. That is our, that is our prosperity. When we make sure that we are always at the place where God is. Hallelujah. Amen. We must never give a room to the devil. We must never visit the presence of God. You know, for these 40 days as we're waiting upon the Lord, we did very well. But it must not be the thing of this time that we said, oh, we're seeking God for this season. But it must, we must make sure that we live in his presence and nothing separates us from God. Hallelujah. Amen. Are you getting what I'm saying? And the Bible says that from verse number 26. And none of you will miscarry or barren in your land. I will give you full lifespan. None of you will miscarry. None of you will be barren. That means God is saying that he will make sure that we are fruitful. We will not lack any good thing. Listen to this one. When he said that none of you will miscarry, what causes miscarriages? It is the devil. The devil is the one who comes to steal, to kill, and to destroy. But when the Lord is in the house, when the Lord is in your house, in your car, in your career, none of you, any plans, none of you will miscarry, and none of you will be barren. None of us will never let jobs None of us will ever lack every good thing. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Yeah. Am I talking to somebody? Yeah. This is when the Lord is living in our midst. This is when the Lord is living in our house. This is when the Lord is going with us wherever we go. You no longer worry about protection. He will be our protector. He will be our provider. He will be our defender. He will be our healer. He will be Jehovah Jireh. He will provide everything that we need in the name of Jesus. Yeah. All we have to make sure that we live in him. We move in him. We act in him. Hallelujah. 
verse number 27 says that, I will send terror ahead of you and throw into confusion every nation you are to encounter. I will make your enemies turn their backs and run. Wow. Can you say wow? Wow. The Lord is saying that those you are about to encounter, those you are about to meet, he will bring them into terror. He will bring them fear into them. He will make sure that they fear you. After that, he will make sure that they run. When they see us, they will run. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Amen. I'm saying to you, there won't be any terror against, you know, we, those witches that you were so scared about. This time they will be scared about you. Ah, those demons, huh? those demons, when they see you this time, they will be so scared of you. They will be so scared of you. The Lord will bring terror against you. Even if they try to challenge us. Oh, just know that we are more than the conqueror. The Lord will make sure that they run. Hallelujah. Say, I fear nothing. I fear nothing. I am unstoppable. I am am untouchable. Prosperity is mine. Success is mine. Favor is mine. Hallelujah. Amen. Wow. Then I'm saying to you this year, I speak as a servant of God that this year there is nothing to fear. Amen. There is nothing to fear. Anybody who will ever try to challenge any one of us, they will turn their backs and they will run in the name of Jesus. Anything that will try to be a problem, the Lord will turn it and shall become a testimony in our life, in our family, every sector of our life in Jesus' name. Are you hearing what I'm saying? As we are living, as we are moving in the presence of the living God. As we are never allowing anything to separate us from his presence. Hallelujah. And our everything I decree and I declare is blessed. That's why the Lord is saying that his blessing will be on our food. His blessing will be in our water. Are you hearing what I'm saying? I say no sickness this year will ever touch any one of us in Jesus' name. No coronavirus will ever touch any one of us in Jesus' name. I cover us by the blood of Jesus Christ of Nazareth in Jesus' name. Wherever you are, just for one minute, begin to thank God, begin to pray. Mandara bazundu rubu shandara ba Mandara ba shandara ba Biyandu rubu Mandara ba shandara ba shandara ba Mandara ba shandara ba shandara ba Biyandara ba yandu rubu shandara ba yandere yandu rubu yandere
the name of Jesus. Amen. I want to take you to the book of Romans chapter 8, verse number 28. Amen. The Bible reads as follows. And we know that in all things God works together for the good of those who love him. Those who have been called according to his purpose. Hallelujah. Amen. One thing that we know is that we have been called according to his purpose. Hallelujah. Amen. Then the second thing that we must make sure that this year we love the Lord. We must make sure that Jesus Christ from now on going forward we love him so much in action. Hallelujah. Amen. As we show the Lord that we love him and all things will work together for our good in the name of Jesus. Are you getting what I'm saying? Amen. Yes. I'm saying to you, this year everything is going to turn around for our good. But we must continue to do our duty. That duty is to, is to make sure that we love the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. And everything is about to turn around for our good as we are living in his presence as we are making sure we are moving in his presence in his glory and let me tell you another one thing everything shall be get given unto us everything shall be added unto us that's what the Bible says that in the book of Matthew chapter 6. Matthew chapter 6 verse number 33. The Bible says that, But seek first his kingdom and his righteousness, and all these things will be given to you as well. All the other things you want, all the other things our heart desire, as we continue to seek the Lord this year, shall be added to us. That means I prophesy this year, I decree and I declare this year, there won't be any struggle in Jesus' name. There won't be any delay in Jesus' name. This year, whatever we need shall be provided in Jesus' name. Amen. Let me show you something. Let us go to the book of Matthew chapter 4. Mandala bazunda rabazunda labayande Lata pasunta rabayanda rabayanda laba Eh... We read verse number 11 of Matthew chapter 4. The devil left him and the angel came and attended to him. That's what the Bible says. Here the Bible is talking about Jesus after the 40 days, after the 40 nights of prayer. The Bible said that during the 40 days, the devil came and tempted him. But after this time of prayer, he defeated the devil. If the Lord Jesus Christ therefore defeated the devil by this time, I decree and declare the devil is defeated in every sector of our life in Jesus' name. Amen. This year when the devil sees us, he will open the way in Jesus' name. Amen. When you go to any place, when the devil see you, he will run away in Jesus' name. Amen. And the Bible said that when the devil left him, the angels came and attended to him. I'm saying to you, this time the angels are going to be attending to us, to our matters, helping us from now on in Jesus' name. Amen. 
the angels of God this year they shall usher us the angels of God this year shall help us the angels of God will make sure that everything work together for our good in Jesus name Oh, I pray for the grace of the Lord which will make everything easy in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Lord, I pray. Amen. What others will be struggling to get, the angels are going to help us to achieve them in Jesus' name. Amen. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Amen. I want to read for you this verse again. Already I'm decreeing this decree for this prayer. Hallelujah. Psalm 23 verse number 1. David said that the Lord is my shepherd. I lack nothing. As we live, as we move in his presence... I decree and I declare the Lord is our shepherd and we shall not want in Jesus' name. Amen. This year we shall experience the Lord as our shepherd, our provider, our deliverer, our protector in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I decree and I declare we are money magnet in Jesus' name. Amen. From today, money will never be a problem in our life in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Mandala bazonta rabazonta labayande. Begin to thank the Lord wherever you are. Begin to pray. Jesus. Receive every blessing you want there wherever you are. 